Hey guys, welcome back to another collection video, and today I'm going to be taking a look at my Avengers um, figure collection, action figure collection. Uh, these are different toys that I think Hasbro uh, made for the different Avengers movies. Um, these are all part of the three and three quarter inch line, except for the Hulk figure. That was actually a part of the Incredible Hulk um, movie toy line, which was slightly bigger um, than the three and three quarter inch line for the Avengers movies, but, uh, yeah, so, here we have a bunch of different figures, um, each from a different movie, so, um, this is the Gamma Glow Hulk from the Incredible Hulk movie, here we have a Thor figure from the Thor movie line, we have a Captain America figure from the Captain America movie line, an Iron Man figure, the Mark 7 from the Avengers movie line, and here we have... <laughs> Spider-Man up here in the front from the Amazing Spider-Man movie line. And, you know, I know he's not technically a part of the Avengers because this is, you know, the Amazing Spider-Man and that's a part of the Sony universe. But, you know, I decided to include him anyways because he's with the three and three quarter inch scale. So, yeah. But first off, we're going to talk about Hulk right here. So let me bring him to the front and hopefully I can move this back a little bit without knocking over anybody. And there goes Iron Man. So yeah, here is the Gamma Glow Hulk from the Incredible Hulk movie toy line. And I gotta say, I really like this figure, you know. Uh, it's really cool. Really detailed, you know. It's got different, like, veins and different mu muscle definition. But yeah, here he is. Just Hulk probably out of focus so if it is sorry about that and here's the figure just all around really big bulky guy let me compare him with the ultra posable spider-man right here but uh yeah as you can see there's like pretty big height difference but uh yeah so uh the reason why he's called Gamma Glow Hulk is because he has a little glowing feature. You just press this button right here, and he glows very brightly. Really crazy. But, uh, yeah, so for articulation, you know, you could move his head up and down, all around. And you can move his arms, 360, go in and out, bends at the elbow. Uh, his legs, you can go in and out all around really far bends at the knee bends at the ankle and yeah that's basically it for Hulk and his figure so I'm gonna put him right back here and next up I guess we'll go on to Thor just because he was there uh, and yeah another really nice movie figure this was a part of the Thor three and three quarter inch line when the Thor the first Thor movie came out and yeah, pretty nice figure. Uh, the cape was actually removable, but my cape was like really loose on this figure, so I super glued it on there. Um, just because I didn't think it looked cool <laughs> without the cape. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. He comes with a little Mjolnir hammer right here. His iconic hammer. That broken Thor Ragnarok, so now he has Stormbreaker. And for some reason, he also came with this little sword. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fit in his hand at all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So he came with this sword. It's just this big, ridiculous thing. But uh, you push this button right here. And when you do that, it opens up. And for some reason, there's like this weird missile thing. I don't know. It's just... Maybe it's like lightning or something. I don't know. It's... <laughs> It's just in there. And you could also take off the sword pieces and have this. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, kids toys. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. And uh, his articulation, you know, you could move his head, move his arms around, bend at the elbow. He has uh, wrist rotation, actually, so you could have him doing some sort of pose. Shakespeare in the Park. To be or not to be, doth mother know you weareth her drapes? Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh, he also has, uh, 
like ab articulation. He can move his legs around, bends at two points at the knees, and then he also has ankle rotation and forward and back movement. So, yeah, that's basically it for Thor. There's his cape. I don't think I showed it before, but yeah, that's Thor. Very Chris Hemsworth like. And then his hammer fits in his hand real well. So there's that. Next up we got Captain America. This is the Captain America movie figure from Captain America the First Avenger. Back when that movie came out. And I don't know if I could get the camera to focus on him better. There we go. So there he is. He's got his World War II outfit on. Which I really liked. It was a really nice outfit for him. He's got a star. He's got the wings on his helmet. There's the back of him. Really cool. And then, you know, he comes with his vibranium shield. Really nice. You can just put it on his arm. And he also comes with a little pistol that you can put in the holster and you can even put it in his hand so he could um, shoot some Nazis or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, another accessory that he came with was this little uh, Avengers helmet. Actually, America helmet. And you could just put that on top of his head. Uh, just, okay, I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can do that. So that is an option. But uh, yeah, let me just stick his shield back on here. But yeah, you can just have Cap being his very American self. Make him look, oh, derpy. <laughs> or something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's basically the Captain America figure. Next up, we have Iron Man, the Mark Seven from the Avengers movie. Uh, this is when the quality of the three and three quarter inch toys started to kind of go down, like a lot. And, you know, they started to move on to making the 6-inch figures for collectors. But, yeah, this was one of the last ones that I got. Just because I really liked the Mark VII and I really wanted it for this Avengers display. And, yeah, here he is. Really cool. Really nice. And yeah, I don't think I went over Cap's um, articulation, but uh, basically whatever uh, Thor had, Cap pretty much has the same thing, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, in case you were wondering, stay up Cap. There it is. So here's Iron Man, and his accessory that he came with was this spinny, shieldy reactor, arc reactor thing. Oh my gosh, this is a fidget spinner. I just realized that. <laughs> I have the prototype for the fidget spinners. That's that's cool. But uh it's got like this little thing on the back of it so you could like plug it into his back. He has a little hole back here. So you can spin it. And uh, you know, have him be helicopter mode or something. Or you could like flip it up, put it on his wrist. Or not. <laughs> Hang on. One second here. Nope. Doesn't want to do it. Why do you not want to do that? I guess it doesn't want to do it on this arm. So we'll try it on this arm. Here it goes. Wow. It really does not want to do it. That's weird. Oh, there it is. So you're going to have him be a knockoff of Captain America. And, you know, spin it. So, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> You got a free fidget spinner with it. But, uh, yeah, his articulation, uh, more limited. Uh, you could turn his head, you can move his arms 360 in and out, bends at the elbow. Um, no ab crunch, no wrist articulation. His legs can go forward and back, in and out. He only bends at one point at the knee, and that is it. So he is very lacking in the articulation department. But yeah, that is basically the Mark 7. So there's that. Really cool. And then 
we move on to the final figure that I have here, and that is Spider-Man from The Amazing Spider-Man. This is the ultra posable Spider-Man figure, which has, I think, 22 points of articulation, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, that's what he looks like. Really cool. I really like the design for the suit from the Amazing Spider-Man one. Really cool. Nice prototype suit. And he also has his web shooters. He's got some details down here. Silver on the bottom of the feet, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, he didn't come with any accessories because his main feature was that he was super articulated. So you can move his head all around. It's like on this really crazy ball joint. And then his arms you can move around and in and out. He's got like a bicep twist swivel. He bends at two points at the elbow. Uh, he's got elbow pivot and uh, you can rotate the elbow. He's got like that ab pivot crunch thing. Uh, he's got a ball joint at the hip so he can move forward and back in and out. He can swivel upper hip and he bends at two points at the knee and he's got ankle pivot side to side and you could just move his ankle all kinds of ways so yeah he is actually really articulated for a little three inch figure it's really nice and yeah that's basically it for spider-man and i guess i'll go over the stand too uh that i have them on here so here it is it's like this little avengers stand it has like a little light and everything and uh, you could actually turn off the light it's just this little switch on the back let me turn that off and then this little Avenger symbol is removable but uh, yeah uh, as you can see you got the different characters you got Thor you got Cap Iron Man Hulk it's like this little like base they have little stands and yeah that's Basically, oh, and it also says Avengers at the front. Duh. There we go. I was able to get it to focus. It says Marvel's The Avengers. And yeah, uh, this is actually a cake topper. I got this from a cake uh, way back when I was a kid. So uh, I really liked it. And plus I had like most of the figures already. And I saw this and I was like, this will make a great stand for my figures. So that's what I use it for. And yeah, that's basically it. Those are the Avengers figures that I got. Got Cap. Got Iron Man. I hope you can stand. There it is. Got Hulk. Got Thor. And Spider-Man. Yeah, I'll put them right here at the front. Or not. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it for this collection video. Here we have some of the Avengers. I don't have all the Avengers figures. These are all I have, but, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, let me know if you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.